Few people understand the Vatican better than John Allen, a senior correspondent for the National Catholic Reporter based in Rome. When Pope Benedict announced his resignation, John started doing his homework on the cardinals who will most likely be considered for the job. This is Habemus Papabili. John, Odilo Pedro Scherer, 63 years old, a Brazilian, currently the Archbishop of Sao Paulo. What do we need to know about Cardinal Scherer? Well, I think the first thing to know is that he's a very serious candidate to be the next pope, uh, because he brings together a lot of things that the 115 cardinals who are going to be voting in this election seem to be looking for. I mean, one, they, they want somebody with a global vision who can embrace the global realities of the Catholic Church. Uh, you know, obviously, he comes from Latin America, represents the church outside the West. Uh, but he, you know, he also is the son of German immigrants to Brazil, has strong ties in Germany and in Europe, so he sort of brings the first world and third world together. Uh, second, the, the, the cardinals are looking for uh, an evangelizer, somebody who can sort of promote the missionary dimension of the church. You know, the secular equivalent of that is a salesman. They're looking for somebody who can move the Catholic product in a very competitive religious marketplace. Uh, and Cardinal Scherer certainly has experience doing that. I mean, you know, Brazil is a country that has seen its once almost homogenous Catholic environment be eaten away by exploding Pentecostal and evangelical sects. The Brazilian bishops have had to retool and relearn the fine art of evangelizing their own people. Uh, and so he would carry that experience with him into the papacy. Finally, the, the cardinals are looking for a governor, somebody who can get the Vatican under control. And of course, Cardinal Scherer is a protege of Cardinal Jean Baptiste Rey, who worked for him in the Congregation for Bishops. Uh, and so he has insider experience as well. So you start ticking off the items on the wish list, he does pretty well. Is there something unique or special about the idea at this particular moment in history of a pope from Latin America specifically, not Europe, and then not you know some of the places where the faith is exploding for the first time? Well, look, I think if the cardinals want to go outside the West, but they don't want to roll the dice, uh, you know, in many ways that logic leads them to Latin America. I mean, it's a, a continent with you know, six centuries of Catholic tradition, well-established Catholic churches. Uh, and further, uh, it, it's probably the pastoral experience that most closely parallels what it's like to be a bishop in the first world. I mean, you take a place like the Archdiocese of Sao Paulo. I mean, it's one of the most sprawling, uh, you know, Catholic jurisdictions on the face of the earth. It was so big and essentially ungovernable that a few years ago they split it up into five and the thing is still unwieldy. You know, so having been forced to try to sort of, you know, move the nuts and bolts uh, of the apparatus uh, in Sao Paulo, I think a lot of cardinals would say, yeah, Shara represents the church outside the West, but he also has a lot of experience that's pretty close to ours. What are some of the concerns when you talk about Cardinal Shara? Well, I think two things. I mean, one would be precisely because uh, he is a protege of someone seen as part of the Vatican's old guard, that is Cardinal Jean Baptiste Rey. You know, if you really want somebody who is going to break the mold uh, and shake things up in the Vatican, somebody who comes out of those circles might not necessarily profile to you as the obvious choice. I think the other thing is most people would say about Scherer that he is a wonderful man personally. If you're at a dinner table with him or you're in an informal conversation with him, he's witty and charming and accessible. But sometimes you put him on a big public stage and he can turn a little stiff. Uh, and if you're looking for an evangelizer, somebody who's going to turn the world on with their smile, you know, that might not necessarily be the guy you would turn to. Do you think that uh, Rio 2013, the next World Youth Day, will factor into this decision? Well, I don't think the, the cardinals who are going to elect the next pope uh, are going to vote for a guy simply because it would be a great photo op uh, in Rio in 2013. I think they're thinking in longer terms than that. Uh, but on the other hand, certainly the day one story, you know, should Scherer be elected pope, uh, would certainly be watch out for Rio because this is going to be the biggest Catholic party of the 21st century. Thanks very much, John. You're welcome.